This video will take you through the ICON Voice Network's QView agent application as well as the administrator console. What you're seeing here on the screen is Agent TJ, extension 2231, logged into an ACDQ and currently in an unavailable status. Uh, as you can see, we have desktop call control down the left-hand side with the ability to answer an in inbound call, place that uh, current call on hold, record a current call, or disconnect. The login logout feature allows you to get information of which groups and when you logged in if you hover. Uh, wrap up, of course, is time at the end of a call for data entry, and it can be extended by clicking this button a second time or multiple times. And then finally, the unavailable is to put the phone into an unavailable state so that uh, ACD calls will not be presented. Uh, this is for bio breaks or situations where you're going to be away from the phone but don't want to necessarily log out of the queue. In the middle, you can actually see six queues, um, the name of the queue, and when you hover, you get all of the agents that are logged into that current queue and what time they logged in. Calls, uh, if you hover, if there are calls uh, that have not been answered by an agent um, that are stacked in a queue, then you would see the number of calls here, and when you hover, you would see their caller ID information and how long they've been on the call. And then the longest waiting call, uh, again, would be the information of how long those calls have been waiting. You'd get a timer here. You can collapse the desktop call control by clicking the arrow button. So this can be a very small form factor application that sits in a corner of your desktop. And of course, when you log in and log out of the queues, this gives you the ability to log in and log out of multiple queues. And as you can see here, agents' uh, priority can be changed as well as their status of whether or not they can view a queue. Uh, this can be locked down so agents can't change it, only supervisors, and they can just see their current status. Um, the preferred is so that you can log in to specific queues. If you select those as preferred and click log in, then you would log in to just those preferred as opposed to logging into all or logging out of all queues. So as you can see here, this particular agent can view four different queues and is actually part of the bottom two, queues 25 and 26. This can be managed, and again, this is a very simple application. It's designed for uh, the ACD software that is built into the Awatsu ECS platform. And so if you are an administrator on the system, you can actually have access to the QView administrator portal. Um, first is, what server do you log into? followed by assigning agent IDs. So this is where you would assign your agents and the name associated with them. Next would be to assign logins. So these would be the uh, various groups that are within the software. And of course, as you can see here, we've got uh, uh, quite a few groups that we can be part of, but not everybody is part of every group. So as you can see, this allows you to add agents into specific groups uh, on the fly. Um, so these are, again, what they are logged into. You can also assign their priority, so what they can log into and what their priority is within that particular automatic call distribution group. And here you can see there's the disallow the login and log out and allow agent to override administrator priority. So if an agent wants to change their own priority, you could allow that. Next are the actual ACD groups themselves, so the group ID number followed by the access number, that's the four-digit dial or extension to move a call into an ACD group, followed by the name of the queue, followed by how many calls uh, alert at a low priority, medium, or high priority, and you're going to see those thresholds in the queue thresholds um, in two links down. And then the expiration timer is when does that person drop out of that ACD group um, or messaging. Supervisors, so these would be all of your uh, supervisor IDs. And then your queue threshold would be the color that the gray bars of the queue view light, depending on the threshold uh, or number of calls uh, that you set. So those colors, green, pink, and red in this case, um, can be changed. But they correspond to the low, medium, and high values here in this screen. So different queues may have different color alerting depending on how many people um, you want to have stacked in that queue. And that is the brief summary of the Icon Voice Networks QView, uh, the Icon Voice Networks QView Administrator Console. 
We hope this gives you a good idea or understanding of how to quickly visualize what's going on in your automatic call distribution or ACD group. Uh, we've des designed this to make it very simple and easy to use. Thank you for your time. Thank you.